Hello, Cancer. This is going to be your solar eclipse reading for the next six months. This video is intended for all Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. You might even be watching this as a cross-watcher of a Cancer. So, April 8th, we have a solar eclipse. And, wow, the energy is already gaining momentum. We can feel the intensity. We also have Mercury retrograde in the mix starting April 1st to 24th. And this reading is going to be about the energies throughout the next six months. Our next solar eclipse is on October 2nd. We also have another Mercury retrograde, August 5th to, let's see, 27th. And this is going to be a time when everything is amplified. <laughs> your thoughts, your communication, your intentions. Yeah, it's going to be an interesting time. I don't want you to be afraid of it. I want you to embrace the change that's coming with it. So let's take a look at the overall themes and messages for your next six months. And we have Angel of Unconditional Love, Relationship Repair, Heals Broken Hearts, Tenderness, Family Unity, Restores Harmony. I foster harmonious relationships by filling hearts with compassion and love. I also help soulmates unite. Well, I mean, Eclipse Energy is about union, right? The sun and the moon coming together. Um, this is compromise. Very interesting. Now, just as a side note, um, I have posted a general eclipse reading, a relationship reading for the eclipse energy. If you would like your own personalized reading, I offer those as well. They are currently on my website. So let's take a look at another message for you for this upcoming eclipse six months energy. Completion, you're closing a door. You're letting something go. Now, remember that when you let something go, it allows something new to come in. New doors open up for you. And let's see what else you need to know about that. Okay, the sacred temple, spirit. You know, it's interesting. Um, you are ascending. You are ascending. I just feel like there is this shift for you. You know... Cancers are so intuitive naturally, but sometimes they get in confusion about their emotions, you know, their anxiety, their worry, their overgiving. You know, I think that cancers are very giving, but they really often misunderstand giving because really the word is nurturing because cancer is the mother right in astrology it also represents the moon right the divine feminine and you want to be in your feminine energy which means nurturing something trusting the process allowing the seed that is planted to grow over time and harvest when it's ready just like pregnancy right you can't uh, you can't make it go any quicker so you know you are ascending and um i feel that new doors are opening for you so what I'm going to be doing with this reading is I'm going to be taking a layer for the sun, a layer for the moon, and then some spiritual messages um, to close us out at the end. But the reason why I'm doing it like this is because essentially the moon is coming in between the sun and the earth. So let's start with the I am energy of the sun. And then we'll go to the moon. Okay, Ten of Cups. You want your happiness. You want your ultimate wish fulfillment. So... You have to allow it in. Don't try to control the outcome. The universe, which is completion of a cycle. Isn't that interesting how that came right under the door card? This is telling you you're closing out a cycle. You're closing a door and you're opening a new one. You got to be very careful with the devil energy because those are restrictions, addictions, codependency, any kind of energy that can be pulling you backwards. That's something you don't need because... That's going to get in the way of your happiness, your Ten of Cups. And the King of Swords here is about detaching a bit from your emotions, being more logical and decisive. And the Chariot, there's the Cancerian energy right there that's telling you, move forward, victory, onwards and upwards. And with that, we have here the Nine of Cups, ask and you shall receive. You know, I don't know if Cancer always knows how to ask. You know, they're afraid to ask for help or afraid to allow themselves to receive. And the Six of Wands here says victory. You have a double message of victory for you. And there's the Empress. You're birthing a whole new cycle. I think I've seen the Empress I don't know how many times. You might want to check out, again, your Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus um, 
energies because this Empress card is birthing a whole new cycle. And I guess that's the theme of this, this eclipse really, right? And the Hierophant commitment, spiritual ascension, taking the methodical steps. Very interesting. Let's get the moon vibes here and see what we need to know. Okay, stay in integrity. Stay true to yourself. Don't let anybody sway you or pull you in a different direction. You're going through a transformation. New doors are opening. That's the message I'm hearing for you. Okay, abundance. Don't let anything get in the way of your abundance. Now that detachment, patience, oh my goodness, I think I've seen this now at least three times in other readings. Patience, trust the process. And again, I'm going to repeat myself. This card, when I see it, it looks like it's giving the finger to the universe here, you know, from these cacti. So essentially, you know, who likes patience? But trusting the process is the best lesson I've ever learned. And look, there's love. Onwards and upwards towards love. Victory in love. Is that what you want? You got to have the courage to get it. Ask. Have the courage to ask. And with that, we have here, seek healing so that you can have the victory. Heal that broken heart. It's interesting how it aligns here. And I just want to make a point. Five, five. I didn't see it before. Big changes ahead. Those are, you know, tower moments, essentially. You know, you're going to have to really let go of the past in order to have that new beginning, right? Your new life is going to cost you your old life. And there's the past. Again, you're getting a lot of nostalgia. It's time to walk through that portal into new energy. So let's take some divine love or divine goddess love cards. Now, this is not just about love. It's it's a very spiritual kind of message. Let's see what you need to know. And we have nurturing. See, this is my point. Nurture. Trust the process. Embrace unconditional love and affection. You've got repeat. Look, even the color is the same. Different decks. Same message. Abundance. Fill your cup. Receive the blessings flowing to you. Allow yourself to receive. Affection. Stay unified in the dance of love. Now, very interesting because eclipse energy is the sun and the moon coming together, which is typically the divine masculine as the sun, divine feminine as the moon. Stay unified. Birds might mean something to you. Hmm. Love birds. And let's see. Unmask. Reveal your thoughts and feelings. Somebody may be uh, speaking their truths from their heart. Let's take a power of surrender card here to see what you need to surrender or surrender to in the next six months. Surrender to joy. I've seen this card quite a bit. A key to positive change in your life is to let joy in and savor it. Indulge in random acts of smiling during both the hard and easy times. Keep surrendering to more joy. You deserve it. I really hope this resonates with you. If you would like your own personalized eclipse reading or relationship reading, the information is on my website. As always, I appreciate your likes, your comments, your subscribes. They really mean the world to me. Let me know in the comments how you're feeling and if this resonates. Thank you very much, and I wish you an amazing eclipse energy for the next six months.